Game Freak has been hacked. Countless internal documents have been leaked, including some scrapped story ideas for the characters that have made people wonder where the company's name Game Freak really came from. And I will say, a lot of freaky people working there. Now, you've probably seen some memes online regarding Typhlosion. We're going to be looking at all the memes, and we're going to read over all the scrapped, um, controversial story <laughs> ideas that were... Uh, taken from game freak now i imagine they were going to be scrapped because there's no other explanation to how insane some of these are but we're going to take a look and laugh so i just want to go over some of the memes <laughs> some of these are just so fucking good she's 15 zam this is a hot thumbnail i've if i've ever seen one okay <laughs> Will you be making a video addressing allegations? Was it true she was a minor at the time? Was it your trainer doing... <laughs> okay. What is your trainer doing about this situation? Care to talk about the recent allegations? Your silence is deafening, Mr. Typhlosion. Leave me alone. <laughs> Pokedex Typhlosion. Um, volcano Pokemon. 5'7". 175 pound abilities. <laughs> Blaze and love... <laughs> Yeah, these uh, these are for sure some golden memes. But yeah, we're gonna read some of the stories now. Okay, <clears throat> relationship between humans and Pokemon, human-like way of thinking. A long time ago, when the boundaries between Pokemon and humans were unclear, once upon a time there was a village. One day, a girl from the village went to the mountains to collect firewood. The girl found some dry, dead trees deep in the mountains, so she went deeper and deeper. Oh, spooky, spooky. When she woke up, the sun was setting and the girl had lost their way. There was a... There was Takafu? Takfu? Takufu? Droppings all over the place, which made the girl feel uneasy. When a man was seen watching up on the other side of the forest, the man's face was unlike any other man in the village, but he was very handsome, the man said. <laughs> very handsome, huh? You must be lost. I know the way down the mountain, but it will be midnight. If you follow my footsteps, I'll bring you back tomorrow morning. So why don't you stay and rest at my place? The girl had no choice but to do as the man said. The man took the girl's hand and started walking. As the sun was setting, we came along to a large cave. This is my house. You must be hungry. Wait for me. Saying this, the man went out of the cave. A short time after the man left, the red light appeared in the distance of the mountain. And the sound of the trees swaying could be heard. Soon the man returned with a large load of red nuts. Mmm, tasty, tasty, tasty. After I eat this, I'm going to sleep. Even if you wake up before me, don't look at me, said the man. When the girl woke up the next morning, the man was still asleep. The girl kept her promise to the man and continued to wait, but eventually fell asleep again. The girl was woken up by the man's voice. When she looked outside, the sun was already setting. Let's eat some fruit, green fruit today. Wait for me. The man is he's going to <coughs> in and out, grabbing these fruits, coming back. So that's what we're getting so far. She's not returning back to her home. So interesting, interesting, interesting. And with that, he went out of the cave. In a short time after the man left, a red light appeared in the distance of the mountain. And the sound of trees swaying could be heard. The sun had completely set. The man had returned bearing a large load of green nuts, the man said. After this, I eat sleep. Okay. <laughs> after I eat this, I'm going to sleep. Even if... You wake up for me, don't look at me. The girl said that she wanted to come home quickly because her family was worried about her. Man yawned loudly and smacked the girl on the- Damn, okay, alright. <laughs> smacked the girl on the head. The girl then completely forgot about her family and, and her home. Dude, what's <laughs> They ate, both ate the green fruit and fell asleep. So, <laughs> what's in those berries, huh? Typhlosion? What's in the Rohypno ro berries? <laughs> he's he's hard roofing her. He slaps her in her head. She forgets everything. That's a that's a that's a neat trick. Oh man! The next day, the two of them woke up and the sun was setting. The man went to gather nuts, and the two of them ate them and went back to the sleep. As life continued like this, the girl eventually realized the man was a buffoon. Oh, the buffoon! <laughs> I'm guessing is Typhlosion. I uh, you realize this 175 badger looking <laughs> dude that was not a fucking Pokemon is so funny. Like, how did what dude? What, did he like was he using his Pokemon powers? And he's not a psychic Pokemon as far as I'm aware. So how is he doing this? He was 
gas in this girl's berries hardcore she was tired he was just spiking those things with all kinds of hallucinogens and all kinds of crazy shit just keep her in that cave as winter approached bukufun typhlosion dug deep into the cave and said to the girl go and gather some firewood break off the top of the branches of the tallest tree you can find the girl tried to do the bukufu the bakun okay we're gonna have to say typhlosion okay Typhlosion said, but she was afraid of the tall trees, so she could only climb the low ones. After collecting some branches and returning home, Typhlosion said, No, we have to be on a higher branch or else the humans will see us. So, <laughs> she's not leaving at this point, okay? I get that she is a, <laughs> a victim to this Typhlosion in some ways, but she's, she's staying for the low call. You know, she figured it out. She was catfished for who knows how long in this cave, and then she's decided to stay now he keeps saying girl <laughs> now i will say in a lot of these pokemon games you're not playing exactly adults that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say guys okay <laughs> this is all i'm gonna say all right damn it <laughs> whoever is at game freak needs to get their hydro hard drives checked some freaky shit going on there <laughs> now i'm not gonna say there aren't some curvy pokemons all right now you might know this one <laughs> where markiplier pass. Pass. there's some pass. there's pass. there's some pass. bad pokemon this tell me, tell me I said tell me you're in the cave with this one you might be acting up okay <laughs> all, right, all right all right all right all right let's go back let's go back now we have to get from the higher branch or else the humans will see us as the snow began to fall the two of them slept in the depths of the deepening hole there was plenty of food. I woke up every now and then to eat and then go back to sleep again. One day, the girl woke up to find a, <laughs> a child in her arms. <gasps> so what were they doing in the, <laughs> in the cave? Eating berries? Passing out? It just, I don't think <laughs> anything else was mentioned, okay? A lot, of, a lot of things were happening in that cave, okay? A lot of crazy shit <laughs> was happening. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Crazy. <clears throat> she had the fucking kid. After several days and nights have passed, the girl woke up to Typhlosion and said, Your father is looking for you, but you're my wife and I can't give you back. I have to fight him, the girl said. Please stop. Please don't kill my father. How can I live with you after killing my family? You're a good person, so let's stay here and sleep. Okay, I'll sleep here. And, you know, it's a great point, obviously. If you kill, if you kill my family, Typhlosion, I don't think I'm going to be sleeping next to you, all right? I think that's some roads we shouldn't cross, okay? Never mind that I'm a minor. Never mind that I've been dr <laughs> drugged for a good amount of this meeting. <laughs> She's obviously, at this point, complicit to some degree, okay? <laughs> Bet she's a kid, so this guy is grooming her. This Pokemon. But how old do Typhlosions live? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a fun story, guys. Okay, this is fucked up. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll sleep here. The man nodded. The next night, Typhlosion woke up to the girl and said, "Your father is nearby. Go look and look outside." When the girl went outside, a snowstorm was blowing around her. She climbed a low tree and broke its branch. When they returned to the cave, Typhlosion was singing a song they never heard before. You have broken the branch. Your father will be here soon. Now I'm going to do something bad to your father. If you kill me, you can have my eyes, my voice, and my heart. Then I want you to build a fire where I was killed and let it burn. And I want you to sing this song until it burns out. The girl said, please stop. You're going to kill my father. Please stop. Let yourself be killed. Goodbye. We'll never meet again. With that, Typhlosion went outside. After a while, a loud noise was heard, and the girl peeked outside. Then it was revealed to her that her father had killed Typhlosion. The girl ran outside and told her father, Your father killed your son. I've lived with him until now. He is my husband. Please give me your husband's eyes, heart, and voice, Typhlosion. The girl built a fire at the place where Typhlosion had been killed and poured her eyes, heart, and voice into the flames. And while I was burning out, I sang the song I learned from Typhlosion. 
Very sad stuff. Very gripping tale. The girl's father built a hut in the outskirts of the village and put the girl and her child in it. Eventually, spring came. The young men in the village often teased and abused the girl and her child, and it got worse by the day. Now, at one point, they tried to cover it up with fur of the typhlo... Okay, so the typhlosion. Okay. At one point, they tried to cover it with the fur of a typhlosion. The girl returned home and complained to her parents, tell the village not to make fun of us. If we wear those things, we'll surely turn into typhlosions. Even now, I'm half dead. What is... What is this? This has to be really badly translated. I'm sorry, guys. Even though my parents tried to explain it, the people in the village would not listen. On the contrary, he became even more amused and covered the girl and the child with typhlosion fur. <laughs> the girl and child then howled loudly and disappeared into the depths of the forest. The two were never returned, and that's how people found out that typhlosions were half human. <laughs> Great tale, guys. I can see why this didn't leave the boardroom. <laughs> Drugging this young girl. <laughs> that's so fun. <laughs> And get into <laughs> sleep in that in that fucking cave. All right. <laughs> cool content. Beta sprites behind the scenes info. Game freak leaks. Finding out Pokemon devs are gooners and furries. Yeah, sad stuff for you, Pokemon bros. I'm sorry. All right. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay. Oh man, this one isn't too long. So. <clears throat> There was a time between the boundaries and Pokemon was blurred. In a coastal village, there was a man. One day, as he was walking along the shores, he found a female octillery. Washed up on the beach. The man had relations with... The, this is a Lapras, guys, so yeah. With the Lapras, and then threw it back into the sea. Next day, he, he went to the same spot and found the same Lapras again. He once more had relations with it, and threw it back into the sea. Oh boy. <laughs> Was she giving him this look? <laughs> oh fuck. Dude. Crazy. Pokemon. Game Freak are surely some freaks. Alright. <clears throat> One night, after several days have passed, the man had a dream. In the dream, the Octillery spoke to him. I cannot come to you, but I will deliver our child to you. It is our child, yours and mine. The next morning, the man went out of the place where he had met the um, Lapras. There he found a boy. <laughs> what is this half-human, half-fucking Pokemon shit they're obsessed with, dude? The man took the boy home and raised him. Time passed, the boy grew into a young man, and the father passed away. The young man was always lonely. One day, the young man was walking along the shore, and he saw a group of people playing in the distance. They all held very large swords in their hands and as they danced. The young man approached the people, and as he got closer, saw that Sharpedo? What's a Sharpedo? Oh, it's a... Man, I, I am behind Pokemon, guys. Okay, don't hate on me. Uh, close there. He saw that a Sharpedo was playing along the beach. When he tried to get even closer, the Sharpedo suddenly leapt into the sea all at once. However, one of the Sharpedos lingered, looking around three times before swimming away. At the spot where the Sharpedo had been laying, there was a large sword lying around the ground. It was in a shape he had never seen before, and it was very sharp and pointed. The young man took the sword home. The next day... The young man took the sword and went into the forest. While he's walking through the forest, he encountered a Ursaring. I know what an Ursaring is. I know what an Ursaring is. It's a bear, right? Ursaring. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I still got it, guys. Yo, that bear is fucking stacked, bro. What is his cycle? Put me on that. I didn't get it fucking yoked. <laughs> All right, uh, where were we? Encountered an Ursic. He tried slashing the Ursing's mouth with the sword, and the mouth was easily severed. Next, he stabbed the Ursing's eyes. Damn! This is fucking brutal. <laughs> He's going berserk on him. And they were easily pierced. Finally, the young man thrust the sword into the Ursing's chest. The Ursing died effortlessly. That day, the young man killed 30 Ursing. Dude, this guy's a fucking bear slayer. Dude, that thing is not... <laughs> That is not an easy Pokemon. How much do those wear? Wait. Wait. Yo, these half... Dude, these half... Dude, they're fucking 300 pounds? 5'11"? 
He's killing 300 pound bears? Dude, this half human, half Lapras is a fucking monster, dude. I want to see what they look like. After that, he always carried the sword with him, playing by injuring the Pokemon he encountered or cutting off parts of their bodies. One autumn. What the fuck? Is he just, what? Is he torturing them? Is he eating them? What is he doing? One autumn, while the young man was searching for firewood, he lost his way. After walking for a while, he stumbled upon Ursing Den. Inside, there was an elderly Ursing lying down. The elderly Ursing looked at the young man and said, Come inside. The young man hesitated, but as it was getting dark outside, he encountered the in he entered the den. Sorry, I just spoke again. <clears throat> Before long, people began to enter the den one after another, filling the room completely. Looking closer, he saw that all the people had scared faces and some were missing their eyes they were chatting among themselves but the young man ignored them and fell asleep at one point he woke up to find the elderly ursing lying beside him he fell as he began and when he woke up once more there are many people out around talking about something again the man ignored them and went back to you're just ignoring them as there's like tons of these fucking things to run when spring arrives the elderly ursing spoke do you want to go home then i shall send you home when you return whale lord that's the whale? Yeah, that's the whale. When you return, a whale lord will soon be found near the village. Go there, we will send a man. You must leave the sword behind and bring a witness. Why did you do such things? Cutting faces and slicing off noses? What the fuck? Dude, sick. The elderly Ursing escorted the young man back to the village. <laughs> Upon his return, the young man re-encountered everything that had happened to the villagers the following morning the young man took the some of the villagers and him and as they walked along the coast they found a large whale lord nearby on the beach was a tedersa when he noticed the young man and tedersa hid in the forest and large ursing came out in its place as the ursing charged at him the young man tried to draw the sword he had hidden but it got stuck and he couldn't pull it out so he rushed at the ursing with his bare hands the young man and the ursing grappled punching each other's faces. They strangled each other with all their strength, and so they choked each other to death, collapsing on top of each other. The villagers went back and told the others what they had to- This is fucking crazy. This is insane. <laughs> what is going on here? All right, last story. So we encountered uh, this sadistic young man with a sword cutting off people <laughs> in the village. <laughs> crazy shit, okay? Um, but yeah, last story of the story. Yep, we're not too far in, so let's get through it. Original Sin, based on the Pokemon current world. In the distant past, when the boundary between Pokemon and humans was still blurred, what is going on here? What the fuck is going on here? Why is everything blurred? It shouldn't be blurred this much, guys, okay? There was a young woman and her companions. Every day they were bored, they would often catch a Slaykoth in the nearby forest. They played cruel games with the captured Slaykoth, sometimes killing them for fun, gouging their eyes and cutting off their ears. This is fucking crazy, dude. Absolutely fucking unhinged writing. Who the fuck wrote this? One day the woman was walking alone in the forest and saw a Slaykoth hanging from a tree. She climbed the tree to try to catch it, but slipped and injured herself. At the moment, a Vigoroth appeared. This Vigoroth had a torn ear. The woman, startled, tried to flee, but her injured leg was too much, and she couldn't move. Vigoroth, with a torn ear, suddenly attacked her when it saw the, her. The woman lost consciousness. When she awoke, she was in an unfamiliar place. Before her lay a clear lake, surrounded by trees from which many Slaykoth and Vigoroth were hanging. All the Pokemon bore wounds somewhere on their bodies, marks left by the woman and her companions. Upon closer inspection, she noticed that some of the Slaycloth hanging from the trees were corpses. The fuck? They were the very Slaycloth that a woman and her friends had killed and discarded. The Slaycloth throwing those corpses into the lake terrified the woman and tried to run away, but the Slaycloth appeared. The Slaykoth also had a torn ear. The woman realized that this was the same Vigoroth she had seen earlier, and fear overwhelmed her, causing her to faint once more. When the woman regained consciousness, she found herself at the entrance of the forest near her home, surrounded by her friends, and they carried her back to her house. Sometime later, the woman gave birth to her child, but it wasn't...
a human child. He was a Slaykoth. So, when she was on, when she was passed out, something happened, guys. Use your imagination. <laughs> she intended to abandon it, but couldn't bring herself to do so. So, here's a Slaykoth, by the way, guys. This is what she gave birth to. Crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. <laughs> she intended to abandon it, but couldn't bring herself to do so. She stopped meeting with her friends and decided to raise a Slaykoth. One day, her friends concerned about her visited the area near her home. They found a Slaykoth sleeping there. The child of the woman. As they always did, they caught the Slaykoth, stabbed it in the... Stabbed it in the chest and killed it. It took its corpse and headed to the woman's house. <laughs> And she saw the slain Slaykoth. The woman was overwhelmed with sorrow. She grabbed the Slaykoth's body and ran into the deep into the forest. And her friends shocked to chase after her. As they ventured deep into the forest, the surroundings suddenly opened up. And they found the same clear lake from before. Around the lake were many Slaykoth and Vigoroth. The woman stood up before the lake. And holding the lifeless body of the Slaykoth, threw herself into the water. I... <laughs> After the afterwards, the woman's friends began to treat Slaykoth as companions, just as she had in her final moments. Bro. So, the Slaykoth's torn her ear, the woman realizes the same Slaykoth she's seen earlier and overwhelmed in fear and causing her to faint once more. When she gained, gained consciousness at the entrance of the forest for home, she's surrounded by her friends, and they took her back home. Sometimes later, she gave birth. So, when she passed out, the Slaykos <laughs> was acting wild. Dude. Dude. Game Freak. Game Freak. I don't know what you guys have to do up there. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I, I would pin it on an employee and say it was their fanfic. I don't know what you would do. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you did enjoy me a reading of it um you know first time i was reading of it because i wanted to be surprised so sorry if it was a little bit shaky but it was some wild shit <laughs> and i hopefully <laughs> hopefully you weren't completely disgusted and made it through but anyways i love you guys please sure to check out all my videos and you know whatever i got going on take it easy have a good night tip your waiter and or kiss baby bye